Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting outrageous toy review. Today we're taking a look at the Robotics Hydraulic Arm Edge from OWI. This is a really cool hydraulic powered robotic arm. You can see it in the package there, it's got like a pincher hand here. It also has a suction cup option. It's got this great controller base. This kit's going to involve a lot of putting it together. This is a real stem maker kind of project. You get to put things together, fit things, cut things apart, plug them together, fill them up with fluids. It's a real hands-on kind of a toy. The back of the box does show some details about the way it can move. It's got a braking system. It's got rotations at the wrist, flexures at the wrist. It's got a base positioning. It's got shoulder motion. It's got elbow motion. The gripper can open up to 1.89 inches. So it's really, really, really technical. And that's what makes this kind of toy so cool. Let's get the hydraulic robotic arm out of the package. This set came with a mountain of parts. Look at all that. It's always a good idea when you're going to do something technical like this to familiarize yourself with the instructions beforehand. So we're going to take just a brief minute to look through the manual. Here we have the hydraulic arm edge finally assembled. I'm going to be honest, this is a pretty time intensive build. It's not complicated, but it's just a lot of pieces. So it takes a while to assemble everything. You kind of have to clean off the, the places where the sprues attach and get everything snapped together just right. You got to fill up the hydraulic cylinders with water. So don't think you're going to put this thing together and play with it in 10 minutes. It, it is a little bit of a, a complex build, but it was a lot of fun. If you're into, you know, like snap together model kits, you're going to have a blast building this thing. If you never built a model before, you'll still be able to handle it. You just, you know, going to need to take your time. On the back of the hydraulic arm edge, you can see there is a whole array of controls here. Mostly levers. And you can see the arm responding. There is one mechanical crank here which is used to rotate the arm. But just about, just about everything else is done with levers. So we've got the hydraulic cylinder here filled with water. There's tubes that go up through the arm. Over here is the mated hydraulic cylinder. So you can see this one is stretched out. This one's compressed. So if I do the opposite motion, I compress this one, this one will stretch out. pretty cool. Alright, let's see how the arm kind of works in motion. First lever controls the opening and closing of the pincher. The second lever is the swivel of that pincher. The center crank controls the motion. The next lever is up and down of the end point there, sort of the, the um, wrist tilt. Then we have the elbow tilt and the shoulder. Along with the gripper hand, the hydraulic arm edge also features a suction cup gripper. Now the phone's pretty heavy, but look, it's holding it there. It's actually slightly pivoting on the suction cup, but it's holding it. And I can move it around and set it back down. The hydraulic arm edge is a ton of fun to play with. It looks really cool, and I think it's a great tool for inspiring future makers, engineers, scientists, and developers of the future. So what's so great about the hydraulic arm edge? 
This is a great STEM toy. It teaches math, science, technology, and engineering concepts. This really makes hydraulic and fluid power come to life. If you tried to operate this thing without the liquid in it, where it was a pneumatic system, just air, you would see it wouldn't work as well because the air in the lines could compress. With the liquid in there, the liquid doesn't compress, it flows through the tubes without compressing and really gives you a lot of strength. I've been amazed at how heavy of an item I can pick up with this thing. And the little suction cup feature is pretty amazing as well. I had a lot of fun with this. I think it would be great in a classroom setting to bring up conversations about fluid power, about robotics in the workforce, and could be a great sample if you were going to have students design their own mechanical devices, like prosthetic limbs or robotic arms. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.